Hi friends, what's this Kinter window? This window we have a uh, drop down combo box. Once I am selecting one of the name of our student table, then all the other details of that particular student, the ID, again the name, the class, the mark and the gender is collected and displayed. You see here I am changing it and this again the same all details of this particular student is selected I, I can change the name also to any other so once this name is matches the matching id the its class is mark and its gender is displayed if suppose I, because it's a combo box i can uh, put my own details also in this case nothing matches so it is a blank here now this particular one why we are learning we have earlier also developed similar uh, applications we are learning this because recently we have completed our uh, invoice generation system there we, we have a product uh, a combo box where the products are available now in in that combo box we will integrate it to it to a product table so once a product is selected it's automatically the price will be picked up from the database and it will be multiplied by the user input of quantity and it further processing can be done that particular part will be uh, using it in our invoice generation system and here we are using our student table we will learn both in fact and we will integrate it into our invoice system we will start from here this is our blank template and we are importing kinter here and then ttk because combo box is part of ttk so we are using that and here we are connecting to uh, we are importing sql alchemy our uh, database connection and we are creating the engine here and here in because the our student sample table is in the available in mysql database so here is the user id password you have to change your case and this is the dv name and you can install your student table the sample uh, sql dump is available in the, the the link is in the description just copy it and that is our all the uh, applications mostly we use this sample table so you can use it and the entire source code also you can download it and uh, now let's first start uh, we have connected to our database now from this we'll create a query first so with this will be applying to our database so select we are saying select a star from student student is our table name you copy the sql dump and create it i'm just uh, using only limit queries so 0 to 5 only rec 5 records starting from the first record we are collecting you we can expand it also to more records now once this is there now let's execute and create our result set so my data this is the my data whatever I am, we are getting will say uh, my connection just above we have created this connection now execute now here is our query sorry query now this will create a list out of it because we'll be frequently looping through so we'll say here we'll convert whatever uh, uh, record set we are result set we are getting we are converting it to a list so now it is a not a result set it's a list now now what i am doing i am creating two blank one my dict is a equal to a dictionary this is what is the uh, we'll be using for our uh, empty dictionary similarly my list this is a empty list we are creating this list will fill with the names and dictionary with other values so that we can match these two and generate our uh, label generate our text what you will be displaying so for that uh, let's just fill this dictionaries all all for row each row in my data my data is whatever we have got the at the top my data line number 11 we have executed the query and got it so for uh, loop is there the now we will enter into my dictionary my dict my dict in this case we have row uh, 0 by 0 sorry it has given my dict now inside this one more row now the key key is the row 0 0 so row now here it is 0 again one more zero this is the key we are getting and in fact in the student table the, we have the id name class mark like that so a, every id we are using it as a uh, our key to of the dictionary so for that purpose we are having this now this uh, equal to row 
now row means the entire it's a dictionary with the, our key as id so this is what it has come up so you can see this now let's create the list what you will do with the list because the list will contain the our uh, our row one it will contain the name of the student so same thing here it is append row one row one what is row one row one is a nothing but the names you can see in our student table here is the uh, the structure you can see it's the uh, row one means the f second element starts from zero zero is the id that we have used as key and row one means the second element or the second element is the name so this name which should appear at the drop down or the option for the combo box to update now let's keep it here we'll declare one function now my update and we'll pass all the arguments whatever is there so args okay so now all the arguments we are passing and now we are saying pass fine we'll fill it shortly now let's come back and create our combo box to store the combo box we'll give one create one string variable selecting tk dot string var tk dot string bar now this is the string variable will connect it to our combo box now what is the now let's create the combo box cb1 equal to ttk dot combo box now all the details are there text variable is selected variable it has taken from my list now okay whatever you want to state read only or whatever now let's remove this not make it more com confusing my list fine so ttk combo box sorry here it it ends now let me come back to next line and paste it in our uh, grid cb1 dot grid now row equal to one column equal to one now pad x from the left edge i am giving 10 and pad y from the top edge how much let's give uh, some pad x uh, more pad y equal to 30 so from the left edge 10 and uh, from the top now we have to display it also so for that we'll create a label l1 equal to tk dot label now where it is my parent window is my underscore w uh, now text now text is equal to we'll write it first detail so there that this text will replace it now bg or the background color we are giving yellow so that's all now this will place this on our grid l1 dot grid now row equal to now row equal to one and column it's the right of uh, our combo box so column equal to two now rest everything remains uh, same or not required for us so we'll enter it so now uh, column two will let's place it here so now label and the grid is both are pressed one more thing now select this particular string variable will go for the trace method trace means whenever the our string variable changed means trace method i am giving w means it's not created or destroyed when it is changed then it will execute the my update now what this line will do this line is whenever there is a our cell what is cell cell is our string variable here so this string variable changes that means i am selecting something from the combo box or i am changing the value of my option at that particular time it will trigger my update now my update so far we have not written anything let's just see save this and let's see how the, our combo box appears here it is it has taken five names here now nothing will happen if and if i click it also i can extend it by if i'll increase my where is my query here here it is so if i am putting 10 records now i am calling 10 records from the database so now let's just see how much it is coming now you can see a big list is there so like that based on our requirement where something is stocked out or some student who has got less than we can build with the changing the query we can build whatever the options we want to show to our visitors 
now we'll start coding our my update function so this function will be triggered once we are changing the selection of our combo box so from before here we'll start coding my update uh, all the arguments we are receiving first what you will do is whatever is there in the l1 is the label right of it l1 config text equal to blank what we are doing is we are removing previously if anything is uh, displayed there so this l1 is that label where you will be the yellow background whatever you have seen so that anything is there we are removing it because we are going to update this particular label with fresh and this config or configure this text attribute we can change it so that's what we are doing it now now after this now for i j i j in my dict my di my dictionary items so this will take the key values pair like it's a, i will hold the key j will be the value so you can see the our i is our all the keys of the dictionary that is my dict and the keys are ids ids are stored as the key values are the entire row is stored as value so that's what we are being looping through for ij now what we are doing is if j1 what is j1 j1 is nothing but the name because j is the value so j holds the a tuple which contains id name class mark and gender so j0 is the id j1 is the name so here it is j1 j1 equal to name equal to if this matches with scl dot get means what moment to a combo box we select anything this function will be triggered this scl is the string variable here we have declared it and that we are connected to the combo box so what will happen once we select a option that particular this cell or the text variable hold that that selection so we are saying if this is matching to this means i have selected suppose a name arnold then if arnold is matches then inside this what you do is either you print this just will comment it out because we don't want to print our we, we have a uh, we have to display it in our label so print i i mean is the key the id or j i am giving j0 means the id again and j1 j1 is the name okay i am i have commented it because our purpose is not to print to the console it is let's print to the our label so l1 dot config again config means any text option or any option i can change now my purpose is text so text option what is displayed on the label i want to change that one but here i have to see because text text always take a string only so there are some integers are there so i before using i have to convert it because i am adding up something so I, what i will do j zero this is the id so it is one two three four like that it will be coming so for that i will say i will change it to s by using str i will change this to string first because otherwise i had to add something a lot of things to this str then plus because string addition let me give a comma here then again plus now j1 j1 is nothing but the name of the student so j1 it is a string so there is no need to give anything here now plus again one comma so in between comma you can give anything else you can do that so plus again j again two so id name this is gives me the which class class four five six whatever class is plus now again i'm giving one more comma now these are all string additions you can see plus so now j2 name then j3 plus uh, okay j2 is the class j3 is the mark so i must use a mark j3 it is the mark so i have used uh, string to convert it plus now again one comma sorry this i must bring it here sorry otherwise again this will be a indenting issue will come so plus str j3 i am use is the mark then after the mark j uh, gender so plus again plus gender so it's a string only j4 so that's all now i will close this config so this is what it will do this pick up the id add comma pick up the name add a comma pick up the 
id name class then mark i am using as str function because mark is a integer here i have to convert to a string because all these are string additions and j4 is the gender which is a string so that's all now let me just save this and run once let's see if any error is there no error but i think i have not closed the close the previous application window now it is here again so here is the list once i am selecting this you can see the all the details of that record is appearing now i can change it anything i am going okay now suppose i am putting something on my own because it's a combo box so out of the option also it works as a text entry also because it's nothing is matching so nothing is displayed here now i can go for anything is there and let me just close this and change my query a bit so i will put 5 again so let me just see how because this way we can change our product details also say products what is out of stock all those products we can remove it the same thing is coming up this same principle we'll use for our product table to once the user select a product uh, then the corresponding the price product id and everything will be taken automatically that part will integrate it to our invoice generation system that's all friends this was a question asked and this was also a plan to further integrate our invoice generation system and if you are not seen that watch it just before uh, i'll read the link also in the description just a couple of days back we have uploaded that one and continue further we will be adding shortly more interesting uh, tutorials on this applications part how we will be using kinter applications and all i'll request you please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we add it and we are going to add lot of applications uh, to our this section and uh, please share this with your friends and thank you for watching